So this will be interesting because Cisco made PR um, last actually last two seasons. I can't remember. Did Shoker? Shoker hasn't made PR yet. I don't think Shoker. He got close. No, he did. Shoker was he tenth did. or yes. ninth in like the uh, two seasons two ago. Two ago, and then he was gone for the summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did he change his name? Huh? Oh. Yeah, he, he goes. He okay. just goes by. He's going by oh Tracy my God! Now. Production. Right. See, Come you know on. what? I step away from the computer yeah, yeah, yeah. and I let Allo take it's over. What happens, bro? bro? I get it. It's a lot oh of fancy buttons goodness. out there. A lot of things flashing in your face. Hey, man. Yeah, I know, right? Happens. Like one plus one is two is hard, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, this will be interesting because I think, um, like, both players are fantastic. Um, Cisco probably more upside than Shulker. However. Uh, Cisco does not have much practice in the matchup. Matter of fact, he and I were actually talking about it before this, and he's not really sure who he even want to go, whether it's Lucina or uh, Inkling. So yeah. we'll see what happens. The other issue here is that Cisco is a very like an extremely aggressive player, and he's always going yeah. in. And yeah, he, unless like Steve, it's going to be a little bit tough to, to try to get away with that game plan, but he makes it work with the roller. True. Let's see if Cisco can figure some things out, man, because I would say that Inkling is probably pretty solid, but you would think that Lucina might be better. But if you got the the aggression up like this, then can you even complain yeah. about it? I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Um, I was ta I don't even. Maybe I should shut the hell up. Like this is crazy. <laughs> My man is playing hot right just now. Just laugh this man right I now. I know. <laughs> that's crazy. Also, his uh, Trace's uh, tagging game is hilarious. Roblox gamer, bro. I hate these zoomers. For real. Anyways, anyways. Um, All right, so. The key that I'm seeing right now is that Cisco is calling out every single one of these uh, uh, mine cards, um, with specifically, the with, yeah, with Splatbomb, yeah. and it's working. It's, it's interesting how the like the projectile was a little bit slept on. Like I know it's pretty good for space coverage, but the fact that it doesn't. Oh, damn! Oh, okay. Hey, that I, he, he had the right. Yeah, bro. that honestly, was honestly that, that should have been a stop move. for Cisco. It really, let's, let's be real. Probably been. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right stop. Y'all are ugly. Please. I hate both of these guys, bro. Hey, I'm going home. Can yeah. y'all pack this up? I'll come back later. <laughs> I got the thumbs up from Allo. Nah. All right, all right. But now I know that uh, exactly the game plan that you're talking about before, like he's calling out these mine carts a lot, which is really important because that's a pretty go-to option for a lot of Steves in general, but it's really that pressure tool that helps them get in too. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to thwart that with just a little projectile like Splat Bomb that shouldn't be that good, but the space coverage that it provides, that's a really good tool for Cisco to keep in mind, but it does deplete a resource. You don't just have infinite splat bombs. Right. Um, and then on top of that, like, while he did get a kill with the uh, up smash from the uh, from the berry, you can't just hit Steve's shield with something like up smash that doesn't have great cooldown, right? Right. Um, startup's fine, um, especially because of scoops, but, like, you you got to be really careful about it. All right. I'll take it easy. All right, so Danny's out here. Um, I'll commentate this solo dolo. I'll have to be careful because I'm super biased against Shulk. Uh, Shulk? Yeah, against uh, Steve. But anyways, um, I think what will be interesting about this is, specifically as, like, Cisco likes to go in, is if he can temper his play a little bit. Um, because if he keeps trying to go in, especially at this percentage, he's just going to die. Um, Shulker is really good at setting up those situations where he can get um, Diamond. So we'll see if Cisco can prevent that. Um, he's done a really good job, actually, of bringing it closer, doing a great job during that uh, edge guarding sequence. But let's see what happens now that um, Shulker wants to actually slow down the pace and get those materials. He's doing a good job of just setting up camp right under the ledge of PS2. Um, only issue is he is pinning himself, but dead. Oh, nice. Um, but let's see who closes out. Man, Cisco's doing such a good job of, of stuffing these minecarts. Can he be patient and upright at the end? Because if he gets F smash, it could be all over. Yep. Got too impatient. And you know what's unfortunate there is he was actually playing really patient through the last seconds of that stock. Um, but he got impatient right at the end, did an errant roller, and then did an errant move. Like, uh, at that point... We need to nerf Steve. We do need to nerf Steve. But anyways... Ban him. What, what I was talking about there was um, that matchup, or that between these two players, was really close. 
Specifically because even though I thought Cisco was going to get run over because he really doesn't enjoy fighting Steve, mm -hmm. he was doing a really good job of contesting my cart, especially the splat bomb. Yeah, that was broken. People think that Inky's like bad or something. That's a lie. That's an absolute lie. <laughs> splat bomb is like, you can't contest it. It's just like safe as hell. It does like 20 and then gets mm -hmm. you entirely inked up. It's very true. But uh, I like, think specifically with this player is what I want to see. Like the adjustment I want to see from Cisco is when it comes time for you to get that closeout, can you be patient enough? Like don't just go in and throw that yeah. smash attack. Specifically up smash, wait just a bit. In or out? What? What? He has to break blocks? Why? Yeah, well, and so to Aloe's point, who should be worried about running the stream, but yeah, anyways, uh -huh, that's my uh -huh. son. Um, <laughs> you have like eight children. <laughs> what do you, I, I have you too say many, bro. everybody's your son. Hey, bro, I just went out to go get milk, bro. Anyways. Um, that's messed up. Any, making, making jokes about anyways. the... Anyways. The, 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 the serious problem in America of single, father, of single motherhood. Hey, bro. That's messed up. Really, it is. You should feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad. What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Get it. Anyways. Anyways, back to back to the idea of both both uh, people ad adapting. Uh, we definitely know Trace is not gonna do that. Damn, bro. Uh, that's that's your teammate, dude. I love. No, Trace is a really nice guy. It ends there, but he's a really nice guy. I love wow, Trace. Dude. He for real. Listen, he's funny. He's, I he's got he's got good style. I should have got. He's a nice like dude. As as he's a great. He just did down throw. That's why he took thirty-seven. Mm-hmm. Character's crazy. Bro. And you know what the worst thing is? He gets stronger as the match goes on. Oh, like, yeah. Like, absolutely. you have to be... T he's like reverse warrior. You have to... He's the same as Roy. You have to be three stocks up to even have a chance of winning the game. It's ridiculous. That... Bro, I almost had an aneurysm. You, you know see players saying that their grab is bad? Hey, they man. call it the worst grab in the game. Bro, it's longer than my parents' is married. It is wild. That shit lasts a year. I don't even know how to commentate. I'm kidding. It's They've crazy. been married for 23 years, but that is... See, Dude, that's what I'm talking Diamond about. Diamond F smash dead. Diamond F smash. The thing is, Cisco, Cisco do be tilting though, low key. Um, well, he was talking to me before this match, and like he, he really doesn't know what to do against Steve in a lot I of situations. Tell, yeah. So, like the fact that it's this close is good, but but the, the thing but is, like, like it shows whenever he goes like right at the end yeah. of the match, and he just goes in. And, right? and the thing about Steve is like that's, that's a good roller, but mm -hmm. the, the problem with Steve is that you can be playing well the entire match, and then boop, you got hit once, and you're at sixty. You boop, you got hit once by micro, you die. Right. So it's like. It doesn't matter how composed you are. It's very similar to like Z3 almost in a way, but like the opposite where you have to play composed the entire match. You can't make a single mistake because the second you make one mistake, you are literally dead. Agreed. Um, and the problem is it's easier to make a mistake than it is for the Steve to make a mistake because the Steve doesn't have a bad option almost ever. Like, Ooh, he, I like, thought that was going to be... So I thought he was dead. Wow. That should be... Yeah, that okay. should be So it's funny. We were talking about that, and what we're saying is true. Like, Cisco's still playing extremely aggressive in some bad spots, but he made some good adjustments there. Really good call to like call it the shield drop right at the end and then go for roller. Yeah. That was strong. You know what was scary the whole time though? What was scary the whole time? Was the fact that Trace saved that diamond for the last stock. So we had it. Yeah, he so, the the thing is that like he was pretty ahead, but Trace, um like okay, Trace is like good at hitting buttons and he will just like hit you and kill you, right? He doesn't have the craziest advantage, he doesn't do like the crazy combos, but like he's good at fighting those random S matches, the random minecarts that will just kill you, right? Mm -hmm. The problem is that when he gets hit, he panics a lot. And so while he's not doing things like air dodging, like you're not gonna see him air dodging into an S match, he's not playing careful enough to do things like dodge the things like the the, the roller, or for example, when he's getting hit by like inkling bullshit, he's not being composed because a lot of the inkling stuff you can just DI out and then pray that you only take like 30 40, right? But he's taking like 60 from a hit. It's like True. right here, right? Like he can just chill and go to ledge, but he keeps mashing things like a side B, which even though they work really well, I guess an inkling because her aerials are so fast and have a lot of priority, you, you, you can't be mashing that against him. That's to be a big. Uh, uh, yeah, he wasn't right. But let me ask you this: What do you think about the fact that they played on PS3 all three games? Do you think that, like, PS3? so obviously Cisco got the the run back? I was about Trace to mention how switched? lame that is. People, bro. No, 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 no. I hey, we all have our thoughts about whether we, you know, people should. Switch or not, what I'm saying specifically is do you think Trace had a better stage to pick in this matchup? Uh, that's the thing, because I've, I've thought a lot about like Steve's stages, and if you look at like Steve players, they always go, yeah, Steve doesn't have a bad stage. 
because he doesn't, right? He he gets he, he has he has true. unique he has unique benefits to each stage. For example, on PS2, on Lilat, on things like FD, he gets better. Uh, he gets like legitimate better materials when he mines. But the stage lighter things like Town and Callus might be more helpful. So it's kind of dependent on what the matchup is and how it would help. I'm guessing against the Inkling, he doesn't really care as much about just getting the materials because it's not been a problem for him, right? Like he's we've seen every single game he's been able to get the materials. The problem is just converting those hits into kills. Mm -hmm. um, Fair Cisco enough. finding a pretty good parry there, but and like with, Ooh, with, with the diamond here, this could be s extremely scary for Cisco. It misses the conversion actually. That should have been a free up throw up air. I don't know, but at zero, honestly, yeah, I yeah, know. It should have. It should have been. He likes to at zero go for up throw nair and the and the side or in the forward air or something like that. Um, but I guess he goes for the upper here. Yeah. He just he let him mine an entire diamond again. This means that his last two stocks will both have diamond, which is so scary. Yeah, that's just, incredibly scary. Even even though you're super ahead, like. And, and you kill him, right? The, the one thing you can see that's just like, oh, you feel safe is that if he has not diamond, he used it, boom, you kill him right away, you're safe, right? You're like, okay, no more diamond in the game, but he has an extra one waiting. So this means if he messes up, my bad, <laughs> if he messes up <laughs> once, loses the stock early, this could be extremely dangerous for him. Right. Ooh, what a great read. Yep. I was running a roller there, but he goes for the grab instead. He has to stop contesting in the air. Every well, he, he can't. You have to just be immediate. It's either immediate or you don't that's do the thing. it. That's the thing. Like, like it, it is like that, and like, it's relatively true that if Steve is doing something, for example, like a downer, like a downer, you just shouldn't contest ever. I think against the side B, maybe. But look at this damage output. He's already at 56, and like, see, he keeps jumping and trying to contest his aerials. And while you can do that as England because you have such fast aerials, you see him shaking his head because Minecraft's just gonna beat it out every time. You have true. to play safe and then punish him after he does it. And while that sucks, oh, lucky, super lucky hit there. I don't think that's lucky. That's what how he closed out the last game, bro. He's, he's gonna just be mashing Minecraft. I mean, mashing roller, and it, and it do be work. Yeah, but he's waiting until the last second. Sure, but I mean, even then, he does take the stock, and the game's probably about even now, right? I mean, one diamond F smash will just be the stock. One diamond anything will be yeah. the stock, honestly. He's got the gold too, so. Bro, that sounds like an AK. Bro, that sounds like an M16. I know that's Why pretty did they loud. program like that? I did not even realize it sounded like that. <laughs> Why is that louder than a snake explosion? For neutral, be inkling builds a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's literally the same thing as Joker, bro. But yeah, I was about to say Joker uses gun, bro. That's the fact crazy. that they named a move gun is the funniest shit. Hey, me. man. You ever played Persona? Hell nah, no. You're, you're a Zoomer. I bro. take that back. You, you know what games I played? I played Smashy Roblox. Bro, Smash, no, Smashy Bros and League of Legends. Yeah, you look like the type. Oh, tell, okay, Mr. Bald. How about wow, you, dude. How about you, bro? Yeah, you, you, you just said you look like the type, bro. You look, Hell like, the, yeah. you look like the type that don't have hair. Wow, dude. That's crazy. That's not discriminatory. You don't have hair, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, I, re man. I respect my bald homies. I do. How come I don't believe you? What? Van Jones, I'm very civil with you. Up to oh, he just doesn't punish that. I think the thing is like against Roller at this high percent, even though yes, you do get the easy punishes from things like oh my god, he's at 45. Oh my oh god, my he could have died from that. That's no, crazy. He, if he did, no, he, he could have. If he, he if absolutely he out, he could have died. died. Yeah. Booyah? No. No. Percentage is wrong. Oh, oh this he is can die right so now though. Scary. This is, and, and he, I, I love the mining features. He has enough things to at least two or three more minecarts out. And if, if he gets hit by one, mi he's at go percent now. He's at go percent. One minecart into up smash might take the stock. Why? Oh, why? Yeah, die? I don't. That's that's kind of weird. That's that that's a bad ending to the set because it's, it's he, just, he climbs back, but then to panic in a, a situation that's not even really true pressure yeah, is a little I bit mean, weird. The thing is, it's scary because you're always scared of things like that. Okay, the good thing about Steve there in that situation is if, l let's say for example, you just do a brain dead boom side B, right? Inkling doesn't have an option that will kill you from that. Unless she jumps up below you and up airs you, which she will not do. She's either hitting you with a forwarder or a back air. And if mm -hmm. she does that, you're going to survive. If she gets hit by that, she dies. And so it's not like an anvil, like she can punish you. You just jump out after that. Like there's right. no risk to going for it. 